Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanted to show you how to link a bank account to your PayPal account. The process is very simple. All you need is a PayPal account set up. If you haven't set up your PayPal, check out the video in the description to set that up first. Once you have your PayPal account set up, you could come to paypal.com. This is the easiest way and go ahead and log into your account. So this is after you signed up for a PayPal account. Go ahead and press log in here and you'll get the PayPal login screen, type in your email and your password, and then go ahead and log into your account. And here is your summary page, your home screen, and where you want to go from this page is the wallet page. The wallet page will allow you to add bank accounts. So I'm gonna to go to my wallet page here, and under wallet, under payment method, you'll see all the different accounts I have, including my PayPal balance. If you don't have any cards or bank accounts linked here, you won't see anything but you should see a page that looks like this. Here, you'll see link a debit or credit card, so you could do that here, but we wanna link a bank account. That's this option here. Go ahead and press that option. Then it will bring you to this page where you could either select from the banks that you see here, or you could choose I have a different bank. I have a Chase account here, but let me show you if you press I have a different bank here and the option that you'll see here. So here you could choose saving or checking account, choose one of these two options and type in your routing and your account number. And then PayPal will send you two very small deposits under a dollar and then you will have to get that information and add it here. But I'm gonna use a Chase account, but if you don't have one of those accounts that it shows, go ahead and do this process. Let me go ahead and use my Chase account here. So instead of I have a different bank, I'm gonna press Chase, that's the bank I have in this case. And a couple of things are gonna happen. In a lot of those options where the bank is listed here, simply by using your username and password that you would use to log into chase.com, for example, it will link the bank account instantly to your PayPal account. The other method of entering account manually, if somehow this doesn't work for you, go ahead and press that one. And then this brings you to that same page I showed you. For the sake of having a complete tutorial, let me go ahead and fill this out. The other method is flawless, works instantly. I've used it for all the accounts that I show you and all the cards that I've linked. But let's do a checking account using routing number and account number. I find this right on my checks, for example. Once you type in your routing number and your checking number or your savings number, you should get to this page where PayPal is gonna send you two small accounts and then you'll have to check your bank account for these deposit amounts and type them in here. You could always press this one too, confirm instantly instead, and that's gonna have you log into your bank account and then confirm that way. But this is if you manually typed in your account routing and checking number like I did. You could now exit out of that page and it'll bring you back to your wallet here. And on your wallet, you'll see the new account and it will have a message here. And if you click that account, it's gonna say ready to confirm, but you have to wait till you get those two small deposits and then you can press confirm bank. So I'm gonna wait and then I'll tell you exactly how long it took to get those and then show you what to do next. Okay, so it took about a day and I did receive two small deposit in my Chase account. So now if I come over here and I click here to confirm this account, it's gonna take me to this page again where now we send you two small deposits and I could go ahead and confirm it. So I'm gonna press confirm bank here on this page. And again, it's asking me to confirm instantly, but I'm gonna say I'll enter random deposits that I received, and I'm gonna put in the two deposit amounts from my Chase account. And I'm gonna press confirm here. And now my bank account has been confirmed. So this process usually takes a couple of days from the few times that I've actually done this myself manually, but obviously if you log into your account, it will do this much faster for you almost instantly. And at any time, if you wanna remove an account, you could just click this to remove this account from your PayPal. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for daily tech videos and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.